Andy Mao. Good afternoon, everyone. We'll now start the session. Uh, James Cole, Sky Sports. Andy, congratulations. What does it mean to you to be given this opportunity? It means the world. It means the world to me. Um, uh, to be to be thought of uh, as a candidate for the the head coach's role is is, is pretty special. But to to be chosen, um, it's it's pretty magical. It, it, it definitely is. I suppose being on a couple of Lions tours already gives me the feel of what it's all about. And for those who have been lucky enough to be involved before, or for those of us who've been lucky enough to to go on Lions tours as a as a supporter or support the Lions. And for what the Lions stand for um, at home, etc., we all know how special place this is. For me to be chosen as the head coach is um, is beyond beyond words. To, to be honest, um, I've obviously got a lot of people to thank: um, Yian and Ben, and obviously the the board of, of the Lions and the obviously the selection committee, but also the IRFU, like Ben said, you know, the support. That they've given me, Kevin, Kevin Potts, and uh, David Newsafor, and everyone concerned with the IRFU have helped this dream come true. So I'm very grateful. And what would the key principles of Alliance team led by yourself be? Should Australia prepare themselves for the Hertz Arena? Um, I've probably grown up a little bit since then. Uh, probably not as dramatic, uh, you know. Um, uh, no, there won't be any uh, um, film star roles for, from myself, just being myself and uh, I'm making sure that the team comes first. Uh, Andrew McKenna from Talkport Radio. Uh, Hi. Andy, uh, congratulations. Thanks very much. You said that it was a six month process to identify you as the person they wanted. How long did it take you to say yes? Oh, straight away. Uh, obviously, I mean, we, we we had a, um, a, a conversation a couple of months ago, myself and Ben, and uh, he laid out um, all the different ramifications of what it, it involved to, to be the head coach, and he didn't need to do that, to be honest. Um, he was a, a no-brainer because it's such an honour. Um, I'm sure you've already started thinking in terms of assistant coaches. Uh, when would you like to get that nailed down by? I'm in no rush uh, at all. Um, there's a long way to go, isn't there? Um, there's a lot of coaches just starting in new roles, etc. Some people uh, will get better as coaches under pressure um, to be able to sit back and watch and not just that, have the right conversation so that we get the right people on the bus to lead this team. Uh, and in terms of the, the Lions, we often talk about it being pinnacle for the players. As a head coach, is getting the head coaching job of the British and Irish Lions the pinnacle? Well, it's the pinnacle for the players, and, and people will always debate this when, when you're coming up to World Cups, etc. But it's the pinnacle, pinnacle for the players because after a World Cup, the next big thing for them to, to, to aim to is to get selected for the British and Irish Lions. And from their point of view, it's about the best of the best, you know. And, and the reason that the camaraderie and, and the history is so strong and the brand is so strong because those players want to make sure that they um, earn the respect of the fellow peers whilst they're on those tours and that makes them stronger. For me to be part of it as a head coach, I mean, you can imagine how much I'm bursting with pride in regards to that. Uh, I'm just paying for that, congratulations. Thanks, Alex. Great to see you. I think a lot of people will have you in this position um, for quite some time. Can you just give us a little sense of the challenge that you are expecting as you head to an Australian uh, I know Australia um, um, more than most of the Australian um, uh, psyche uh, personnel what it's like to, to tour there obviously I've grown up um, in, 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 in uh, Australia uh, quite a bit as far as my career is concerned um, and I know that what this will mean to them um, as we all know, from a Lions point of view, it's, it's uh, extra special to, to be a Lion from these shores. But when it comes around every 12 years um, and you're lucky enough as a player to be part of that, um, 
it's, it's got to be extra special. So it's, it's, it's a huge moment for Australia. Um, to be involved as a player and at the top of your form in the middle of the, those 12 year periods is, is, has got to be extra special. So um, I know the, the, the journey over the last wee while as far as the, the, the Australian rugby is, is concerned uh, needs a little bit of repair. Um, but the candidates that are, are talked about by you guys in, in regards to who's going to be in charge and me knowing firsthand the type of personnel and the quality of player that an athlete that they've got. I mean, we, we played Australia uh, not too long ago um, at the Aviva and it was one of the toughest games that we've we, we faced in, in, in the last few years, certainly at home. So I know that they're going to get it right because it means so much. Uh, 2025 is going to be a massive year for, for Australian sport with the Lions coming over. Um, I suppose the, 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 the challenge is, and which, which is very exciting for me, that there's a blank cam canvas and there's, a, there's, a, there's an organisation um, uh, in front of the organisation, as it were, to, to be built. And that's what's exciting for me, a blank canvas to, to build up a, a schedule, a backroom staff, uh, a, a coaching staff, etc., and, a, and, a, and a, a, a playing pool that is extremely talented for, and, and that's, for, that's for us all to see, you know. I'm, I'm excited about the next 18 months to be, to be able to put that together. Hi Andy, Ashton Murray here from Aquaball. Huge congratulations. Just in terms of your style as a head coach, I'm sure you've had a lot of experience as a player and that's probably shaped the, the way that you, you do show and lead out there. Just describe your, your style as a head coach. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It's me being myself. It's me um, trying to put across to to the, the talented pool of players that, that I work with, that I certainly am going to work with, uh, and letting them letting them flourish for the for the type of people that they are to to be able to express themselves. Um, One hundred percent, the talent's going to be there, so I need to make sure that I'm allowing that talent to, to flourish. And just in terms of the the IRFU, it's great that they've been so supportive. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're going to balance the two roles? Well, I'll balance the two roles by by making sure that I give um, um, both roles the, the 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 right attention that that. Both roles deserve. Um, I wouldn't take on this on this role unless I could do both both roles to the to the best of my ability, um, and therefore um, I'm very gr grateful from the IRFU again to, for for this opportunity. Thanks, Brian. Any questions from Rose? Congratulations. Um, ben talked about the joy of the Lions, and one of your strengths with Ireland seems to have been bringing the joy and the fun back into the camp. How important is it for part of your role to make sure the players love the experience? Well, there's there's um, the, there's a, a fine balance to be had here because um, you know there's a, there's a lot of talk about about fun and enjoyment etc. But you don't get fun and enjoyment if you've not got the tactical awareness or, or, or technical uh, ability to be able to uh, um, put the right tools in front of the talented group that we're going to have to be able to express themselves. So first and foremost, it's getting the right uh, tactics, um, um, getting the right facilities, getting the right, getting the right environment for, for them to be able to flourish uh, as, a, as, a rugby, as a rugby player. I, th I suppose uh, for the tours that I've been on, uh, what makes it very easy as far as the, the camaraderie and the, the excitement and, and the bonds that Yayan has, has rightly spoke about is because uh, when you get the best of the best, the, 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 the fighting for that respect, and, and not just that, they're, they're trying to learn off the people that they are competing against uh, um, year in, year out. I mean, we're a couple of weeks away from a tournament um, that is pretty special to everyone in, in, the, in the Six Nations and the rivalries is, 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 is right up there and, and that's why we all love the Six Nations. But when the best of the best come out of, come out of that, the respect is through the roof so therefore the bond has already started and it's an easy job to, to, to try and filter, filter that through the, the organisation as a, as a whole. Ben, can I just ask you how important in the rugby calendar is the Lions and how pleased are you? Space next time to actually get all done together. 
that, that I think uh, it's incredibly important in the rugby calendar. And these guys have talked about it already. When when you look at the players, it's considered to be the absolute pinnacle for them, isn't it? And the engagement we have from the player population, who we speak to all the time, is as strong as it's ever been. But the same is true of the fans. Right? Of course, we didn't have fans with us in South Africa, and, and goodness me, weren't they missed? So we're really looking forward to having not just Lions fans in that famous sea of red, but the Wallabies fans in there together. And I think the passion and the colour and the vibrancy that they will bring will be extraordinary. But equally, when you look at the support of our commercial partners, we've mentioned Howden already, and there are, there are many others, there are record deals being done. So all of this tells me that the Lions is still considered by all of those different constituents to be extraordinarily important. And our job is to make sure we harness that level of excitement and passion and make sure we use it to grow the game. Andy, Julian Gar, Andy. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, you've obviously seen the lines from the inside and you've seen them being a national coach. Just how difficult is it with the limited time you have with the players as a Lions coach before the first best as compared to coaching a national side? Um. I don't think it is. I think um, that's the art of being a, an international coach, uh, to getting people up to speed as soon as you possibly can. Um, when it comes around to uh, an autumn series or, or a Six Nations, we get the players for five training sessions beforehand and nobody cares whether we've been together for six months or not. They all expect a performance, you know, so for us to um, be lucky enough this time round to kick off the first game at the Aviva against Argentina is is a is a massive bonus, you know, and a massive privilege for 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 Ireland, you know, on the 150th anniversary. So that's going to be huge. Everyone's going to be together, and then we we have plenty of warm-up games before we get to the first test, where everyone will get a chance to 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 uh, pull on that jersey. Cheers. Well, rugby's uh, rugby's a, 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 a pretty sim a simple formula. You know, we, we're we're not rocket scientists. We 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 are in the position in uh, that we're in because uh, hopefully we're pretty good at, uh, at understanding the game. Um, so being yourself and picking the right personnel that's able to gel together. Uh, is 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 pretty important, and that's that's not just the the the, the playing pool, but the the staff that's going to complement that. And question for Ben, because Andy touched on it a bit, and you as know, well. But kind of having fans back in, in the stadiums for, for 2025, I imagine that must be quite a relief for you guys, such a huge part of what the Lions did. Exactly right. I mean, if we if we look back to. 2021. I think it was a, it was a triumph in many ways to make that tour happen in the middle of those COVID headwinds that we all we all remember. But the thing we missed more than anything else was the was the fans for the reasons that have already been talked about. Right? They are they are now almost literally queuing up in their thousands to come with us. And when they're there, when they're there, they just bring an excitement, a passion, a vibrancy uh, that without them is really missed. And I actually think that in a Lions context, maybe more than in other sporting properties. I look at the fans as like participants in the action, not spectators, because they do contribute so much to the overall atmosphere and the feeling. And when you speak to the players, and of course we do speak to the players all the time, they will confirm that their performance is raised when you've got that passion of sea of passionate sea of red behind you. So that's one of the things I, I'm looking forward to most actually is having those famous fans back with us in Australia. Yeah. Yeah, I obviously went to Australia. 35 years ago now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think as well, right? <laughs> it's a long come. What can we expect from the talk of Australia? Oh, I think it's, it's going to be sensational. Yeah, um, such a strong, powerful, sporting nation, uh, the country itself. It's an opportunity for the players to, you know, and, and back to Ben's point as regards the spectators for us who will follow this tour, which there will be thousands, um, they sustain the tour. It's a touring team, one of the last touring teams in existence, uh, particularly in the rugby environment. They're the fuel that sustains a tour and maintain your standard of performances because it is incredibly challenging and tiring to maintain your levels as a player uh, and having that energy. Um, you reciprocate, you know? 
the energy comes from um, the crowd, you build upon it, you feed them back again. That's how it works. And the whole cultural benefit, and, and great, great coaches, and Andy's very much one of them, it's one of the reasons he's such an outstanding candidate for us when, um, when we discussed it. They're cultural architects. They get that right. Yes, it's the tactical and technical aspect, but it's the culture that really works. And in such a, in, in a tour that, an entity that's such an anachronism in the modern world, being able to unite and bring people to a common goal really is. And that's what captures the public appetite. That's what captures the sporting appetite out there and why people travel across the world to be part of it, feel part of it, a sense of belonging. Uh, it is Alliance family, players, management, supporters alike, sponsors, partners. It's all one. And it's uh, it what makes you bring back for more and more and more. Obviously, I've learned a lot um, from Gats. Um, I was lucky enough. I reckon he took a, a big punt on me in 2013. I hadn't been uh, coaching for that long at that stage. So I'm very grateful for him to um, be able to expose me to what the Lions is all about. And, you know, uh, just sat here now, listen to what Yain and Ben been saying about the, the sea of red and everything gets gets the spine tingling again. And uh, um, uh, in 2013, uh, I was enjoying it that much that it just lit, a, lit something within me that that said to me that I need to make sure that I get back on this in, 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 in four years' time again. So to... To miss out on on the on the COVID one in, in in South Africa was 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 hard, but at the same time now to to be able to get to this point is 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 extra special. I've uh, I've massive massive uh, uh, shoes to fill in regards to the people that's gone before me and that Mr. Lyons is sat at the back of you there, Geach. He's just put his head down because he doesn't want to, anyone to see him. Um, uh, but the, the shoes to fill, the people that have gone, gone before me is, is a massive responsibility that I take uh, um, head on. Um, Gats has already been in touch and I'm sure that we'll be in touch a bit more over the, over, over the next 18 months. Benny often speaks about the importance of uh, having a coach and taking it all the time from the different countries. Is that something that you can sort of share? That? Well, if that's the right balance, that's, that's, that's the, the, the one we go with. But you've got to have the right people on the bus. Um, you know, it's about it's about uh, it's about excellence as well, and the right balance between between the coaching staff in in, in general. Um, if, uh, if if we have all the personalities that are the same, it won't feel right. You know, if we don't get the people uh, right that uh, technically, tactically can can deliver to these um, super players that we're going to have, that won't feel right neither. So we've got to do the right thing by the team. Thanks, Mary. The learnings, you, you, you couldn't write it, Murray. You, you couldn't write it. I mean, you, you would have to ask, ask them, um, uh, I suppose, more than myself, but from what I've observed, it's so vast. Um, the confidence that they get in, 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 in watching. And don't forget, these, these guys are the best of the best, but they're watching each other like a hawk, you know, trying to learn off each other on a daily basis. Everyone's stirring at each other's breakfast for, for, for a start. And, and, you know, how they prepare for training sessions, how they, how they deal with the nerves before the game. They see things that within a person they actually go, you know what, he is pretty human, and this is how he, how he deals with it because he's got the same nerves as me, etc. you know, so... The learning is something that you can't replicate um, anywhere else. It, it, it is so vast. Just talking about broken, but in our own context, how confident are you that coaches that need to be able to keep that project? They, they, they certainly will. We've got fantastic people there who, and fantastic, experienced coaches uh, that work um, strongly together with the players to continue the journey. Thank you.